Hello, YouTube. You may be wondering, Alex, why are you here, you silly goose? Well, last video, we forgot to promote Louie, but I want him to be a great knight, which means he needs either sword or axe proficiency. I said Sigurd's the one he's equipped to. I figure doing sword proficiency is easier because I, I want to turn him to a great a knight. Because originally, I was going to use Sigurd. two armor knights, but that's you just not happening. Me. Uh, originally I was going to use our next armor knight is a great knight, Louis General. I don't think that's happening. Uh, the one big advantage that General has is the ability not to be broken. But there is a way around that, actually. Um, it'll be a skill I have him inherit. There's a skill that prevents that from happening. I don't know how expensive it is. But I, I think I'm going to want him to have that advantage. Um, as his two skills. Um... One that prevents... Sorry, not the one that prevents bait breaking. One that prevents pair-ups. Um, I, I consider that a bigger issue, frankly. Um, although it is tempting to put him as a general for now, then reclass him into a great knight later. To which... That is extremely tempting do that would that give me any benefits other than him not being able to be broken I I don't think it would I'll have to make sure he has a sword on him so if he's fighting a bunch of axe enemies he doesn't get broken by them. But breaking also only takes effect if damage is dealt. I believe. Crap. I actually don't know if that's true. If you only take break damage... Do not know. <laughs> um, um, well, I suppose we will find out soon enough. Huh. I don't, I don't think it does. I don't think it does. I'll have to do testing on my personal save file. Because frankly, I don't remember. Let's go to Brodia. So, you made it across the border. We're in Brodia territory now. The landscape here, it's so different from Firene. Nothing but rugged terrain all around us. Watch out! <laughs> We're under attack? Name yourselves! I would make the same request of you. After all, you are the one sneaking over our border. <sighs> Identify yourselves, or I will assume you are thieves. This time, I won't miss. I'm the Divine Dragon from Lethos, not a thief. I am Alfred, the heir to the throne of Firene, and your ally. The Divine Dragon and the Crown Prince of Firene? That's right. Now I would like to know, who are you to shoot at us like that? <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm so, so, so sorry! Huh? <sighs> I threatened the Divine Dragon and the Crown Prince of Firene! I'm begging you, please find it in your hearts to forgive me! It 
It's all right. No harm was done. That was quite the bow, soldier. Must have been hard on the knees. Hmm. Wait a second. Your face looks awfully familiar. You're not just a soldier, are you? Uh, no, I'm Alcrest, second prince of Brodia. Prince? I thought so! How's it going, Prince Alcrest? Even worse than usual. I'm sorry for taking so long to introduce myself. Oh, uh, these are my retainers, Lapis and Citrine. Honored to meet you and your coterie. Yeah, welcome to Brodia. I can't say I feel very welcome. You still look like you're ready to kill us. We're merely a little tense. My father, King Morian, received word from Queen Ev that your party was on its way. He ordered us to meet you at the border and formally welcome you to the kingdom. We've been waiting for a long time, and all we encountered were bizarre creatures or bandits. We assumed you were more of the same. I'm sorry for the delay. We had to take a little detour. Still, if your arrow hit the Divine One, Brodius standing would have been seriously hurt. Be more careful next time, Prince Alcrest. Bruh, shut I up! I really am sorry. You cannot be held liable, Alcrest. You had no way of knowing who they were. Exactly! Was it possible for your party to arrive in a more royal, more resplendent manner? Uh, shut up! This is the Kingdom of Warriors. Don't make them pay for Fae Pass. Now, you're up. not worthy to enter. Here, the weak serve the strong. Maybe we should give you a little test. Hmm? What did you say? She didn't mean that. Apologies. My country places too much value on strength. Besides, you have nothing to prove. I am well aware of your battle prowess, Prince Alfred. Oh, well, thank you. I am so sorry for all this. So sorry. And I'm sorry it's me greeting you instead of someone better. You can stop apologizing. I'm grateful that a prince is here to receive us personally. Really? You're grateful to see... me? Yes. Honored, in fact. <sighs> How polite of you to say so. Charming as well as divine, I see. Could you do me the favor of being... less dazzling? I find it... Uh, so hard to shine as it is. Uh... all right. Now, come with me. I can show you the way to Brodia Castle. So this is the chapter that- We will arrive at the Grand Crossing soon. That will take us to the castle. Good. Divine One, if I may. I was wondering about something Queen Eve said in her letter. Is it true that Illusia has released Sombron? It's true. An Illusion we fought told us as much. I see. We'd heard rumors to that effect, but I didn't dare believe them. <sighs> Those neighbors of ours. You will need all the rings to defeat the Fell Dragon, right? For generations, my country has possessed the Ring of the Young Lion. The Ring of the Young Lion? It has a red stone and a certain... gallant aura. Diamant, the Crown Prince, told me he's been hearing a voice from the Ring. He's a remarkable person. I'm lucky to be his brother. You really admire him, don't you? Oh, yes. He's strong, wise, humble. The king adores him, as do our people. My brother is cut from the noblest cloth. I'm afraid I was made from the tatters. There's no need to be so hard on yourself. Ah, there it is. The Grand Crossing. There seem to be a great many soldiers out today. Wait a moment. Those are... Illusion soldiers! They're occupying the bridge! No! Finally! It took you long enough! Very rude to keep a princess waiting! Very rude indeed! Princess? That would be me! The second princess of Illusia! Lucia's second princess? Uh-huh, in the flesh. And you're the divine dragon. Uh, right. Ew, I knew it! I can totally tell. You're the prettiest. It's a dead giveaway. I always thought Lumera was the only divine dragon. 
You could have knocked me over with a feather when I found out there was another one. Wow, those mismatched eyes of yours are something to see. You know, I would hate on her, but she is technically Don't a kid. Don't come any closer. So. I think she's fine. Worthy to approach I actually kind of like her. I actually kind of like Hortensia <laughs> as a character. You, Brodian. Besides, we're not the wicked ones. You are. <laughs> My father says Brodia is a greedy, barbaric country. You're always invading our territory, taking our land. It's the worst. She's Do you not know wrong. How many people you've hurt? Not just soldiers, but regular people. We're not just invading to expand. We are keeping your vicious, unpredictable kingdom in check. I take it you're retaliating? Launching a full-scale invasion to take your revenge? <laughs> Hardly. I couldn't lead such an ambitious attack. I'm just here to take your rings. By order of my father, King Hyacinth. He told you to do this? Yep. Now, if there are no more questions, fork over the goods and we'll all go home breathing. Never. Aww. I thought nabbing your rings would be the easy job. Lucky big sis getting to attack the castle instead. The crown princess? She's going to attack Brodia Castle? Oops. Probably shouldn't have said that. We must go right away. <sighs> As if I'd let you pass. My father's gonna be so proud of me. All Illusion soldiers, forward march! Get me those rings! So this is the chapter that pretty much all the previews, like, review previews, showed. So, my goal every time I get to this chapter is to make them all look like idiots, because they all failed this chapter. Um, <laughs> I also love the music. This is out of the... Out of the quote-unquote basic map themes, which are the Lethos one, the Faraday one, the, the Brodian one, this one. Uh, and the soul one, this is easily my favorite one. Um, there's also one I'm like, all the, all the main ones I mentioned also have two versions. I'm 99% sure, certain that the default version only plays on this one chapter, and then only other times the map seems heard, it's the more intense we version. Deal with them quickly which is interesting. The there's not a moment to spare. I don't of mind because I like that version more. Leave it to us. I wager we'll be back in time for dinner. Such confidence. But I'm still concerned about casualties. I will protect you both. So brave. But, uh, as your retainers, it's really our job to protect you. Now then, get behind me. Huh? <laughs> oh, all Chris, don't be ridiculous. You're an archer. You should be at the rear. Hang on! Citrine! You should also be in the back! Ah, uh, you too. So. Looks like oh, it's yeah. starting. To your positions, everyone. Oh! The Divine Dragon is absolutely... <sighs> absolutely not as cute as we are? Right. Exactly. <laughs> That's the spirit. Outshine the enemy, and then defeat them. Now, let's steal those rings and do Hortensia proud. Ready to start? Yes, Rosado. Let's make quick work of them. Um. So, I've, I, I mentioned it already. I want to use a different team setup than my past two playthroughs. I think I want to long-term use Citrine instead of Saline. Oh, Jesus. Uh, how much of it is silica? Wait. Ba base value is 69. Obviously, the weapon's what's lowering it. What was your base value again? 70. 
I don't know. See, speed isn't really an issue because I'd have her almost entirely use thunder anyways, and you can't double up with thunder. But, oh. That's, that's low. That's, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, I want to look at the speed, base speed. Weapon. Okay, so, I hate to say it. Fifteen. That is equal, though. Okay, time to do something I haven't done yet in this game. I'm using oi if you bought. I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna look at growth rates. Oh, good golly. Under my Discord. If you do not know, I have a Discord. I use all my OifyBot needs on my own Discord server. Let's look at her growth rates. Default growth rates. Uh, 48 in HP. 65 in magic, I believe it's the second highest in the game behind Anna. I reclassed Anna. Low speed, low defense, high resistance, decent luck. What about Saline? I I just need her name. I hope it doesn't require the accent mark. Um, her growth HP is only 5% higher. Her strength is higher, but that doesn't matter. Her magic's way lower. Her dexterity's a little higher. Her speed's higher. Her defense is higher. Her res is lower. Her l Oh, God, her luck. It's way off. Way different. That's interesting. It shouldn't matter in hard mode it shouldn't matter is one of the great things about hard mode in this game is any unit can be viable Prince Alchrist, Citrine, stay back I'll handle this I can knock down anyone who stands in our way um so smash weapons um they're they're really the only way to break generals uh, very useful, very good. Um, that's what Amir is with, uh, not you. That's what Amir is. Amir is technically one of those. Uh, and I will eventually get him hooked up with a Great Lance is he'll do a lot of damage. Uh, yes. Alchris is another unit I'm debating if I want to use long term. A lot of people wait till this chapter to do the Tiki Paralog. So you have two archers. It didn't help me much on my regular thing, but that's probably because I didn't forge any bows. It allowed them to more easily take care of an invitation. You know, dragons. Too. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to decide if I want to long term use him. Uh, if I use him, I know what emblem I'll get, and I know what unit I'd replace. Uh, he'd replace. But I do think I don't want to use him this playthrough. Uh, because I think I do want to use the uh, unit that uh, he would be replacing more. It also really depends about how easy it is to reclass him to a cavalry. Because I'm going to have him with an emblem that I'd want wash. to be able to move far and fast. Which is why I actually am going to keep that Point unit in a suboptimal class. Here. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, 
Uh, yes, I did forge it. Anytime. Now this chapter is not too terrible. If you um, we wear the fact. See, it doesn't show it here, which is why a lot of people died. But she's engaged with Lucina. I uh, guess not yet. Well, she'll be engaged with Lucina, who has a rapier, which technically means Louis Understood. is bad against him. But this turning him into a cavalry For isn't going to make it any worse because armored unit. Rapier, they don't end well. I love this map theme though. Uh, it's one of my favorite map themes in the game. And I actually want to take this time to talk just on a very, I will not forget your loss. Very broad level. I want to talk about this game's OST because I'm tired of the slander. Um, I've got this. A lot of people aren't talking what about the OST. Eh, myself included. But I personally don't think it's because it's bad. I think it's just because it's very consistent with its quality and there's we not really standouts. Beast. Which again, I don't think is a bad I'll thing. Do my best. I think that just means that the quality of the music all throughout is the same. Three Houses has a bunch of standout tracks, but outside of those standout tracks, I think it has a pretty bad OST. Like, outside of like five map things, I don't like the soundtrack. Such a wonderful time yeah. playing together, haven't we, Divine Dragon? Speaking for myself, it's been lovely. So I hope you don't mind, but I brought a friend along to join in the fun. <laughs> That's an emblem. It's Lucina. But how? How is she here without my summoning her? Look at your face! You silly Divine Dragon. Did you think emblems were just a you thing? Not by a long shot. Yeah, it's a pretty cool trick, huh? <laughs> I'm so glad I'm able to use it. And it's all thanks to Lord Sombron powering up this ring. It's called the Ring of the Princess Exalt. <laughs> Cute, am I right? That's one of the rings my mother was protecting. Give it back! Yeah, not gonna happen. It's Illusia's ring now. But if you really want to see it one last time, come a little closer. I'll give you a good long look. Yeah, it's the Dark Emblems. That's where the chapter gets its name. Uh, yeah. They cannot engage, but they can still use engage attacks and skills. And weapons. They can also that use engage weapons. A formidable foe. Nearby enemies can join in her attacks. We'll have to be careful. Lucina, if used properly, can be a top tier emblem. The problem is, she just, at least in my first playthrough and my current second playthrough, she just... I don't know how to use her the best. I don't really know how to fully optimize her, so I may not. So I'm definitely not gonna be using her to a full extent. Yeah, now it shows. They can use engage weapons and skills. All for one can be very deadly. Uh, Gold Mary is also really annoying because of that. Make sure to fight Gold Mary with females. The like twenty thousand times you have to fight her. Oh, you don't have a longbow. That's right. So let's have you weaken it. Uh, I will have to decide if I want to... Use her long term or not. Because I actually do not know. So, like, this enemy will be broken. Even though typically you wouldn't break. But because it's the enemies will be smashed into the crater. The pitfall. The mecha. So, yeah. Nice and easy, you know? Me first. And this is like the best part of the map <sighs> thing. I just fell in love with this map theme after hearing it in the previews. I, I really did. Royal confidence. Anyways, back to the music. Um, and to me, map themes are the most important part of the Fire Emblem soundtrack. Was there are multiple three houses that when I hear, I scoff. Now, I can't hate it too much because one of the greatest was one of my all-time favorite video game music tracks, Funeral Flowers, is from Fire Emblem Three Houses. So they're obviously not all bad, but I do think the Three Houses OST in particular is pretty overrated. I think Awakenings is underappreciated. I think people give Fates the credit it deserves. 
The modern Fire Emblem games. The R3 houses, the modern Fire Emblem games have some of the absolute best in the franchise. And I'd say the only one Bar 3 houses that. The only non modern game that competes for with the other top tier map things is Fire Emblem 4, which is one of my favorite video game OSTs just in general. I, that's. Because Shadows of Blood, yet to me, is very, very easily is it over? the second best soundtrack in franchise. This game doesn't change that. Um. In third place, I, I really don't know between Fates, Awakening, and Engage. But it's one of them. Because the thing with Engage is, like, obviously, I care most about map themes. There's probably one map theme I don't like in this game. And most of the map themes, I'd probably put top half. Although, one of the reasons why I don't think anyone's really talking about this game, there are very few map themes that I'd put top, top tier. Or three houses, the ones I like, a lot of them were top, top tier. So I think that's one of the reasons why this one isn't talked about as much. It doesn't have a funeral of flowers. It doesn't have a god shadowy star. It doesn't have a between heaven and earth. It has some absolute bangers. Particularly um, the uh, Royal Mites. Uh, I'm also a huge fan of the distorted flash of light, which we won't hear for a while. Um... And the remixes are just incredible for the paralogs. Particularly Sigurds. Um, if you... If you... So obviously this game has battle phase one, battles, and regular one. The battle version of the Sigurd remix is quite literally... A, it's, 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 it's essentially just a premium arranged version of the final Holy War. That's all it is. They're practically the exact same. <laughs> Which is not a bad thing, because I love the premium rage file Holy War. Then the regular one is less of, it's not like a rearrangement or anything. It's just like if the final Holy War was in a modern Fire Emblem game. It sounds glorious. It's amazing. Leaf says, oh. It's not as good as the original, in my opinion. Because it's a proper rearrangement. Um, and the original is in my top three favorite Fire Emblem map themes of all time. It's definitely still top tier, but I wouldn't put it as high as the original, actually. Um, as much as I still think it's really good. Does it, to me, lose a lot of the feel of what I truly love about the original? That will get to the, that's, a to that's a conversation for when we get the Leafs paralog. God bless my soul. <laughs> um... <laughs> Oh, I'll have a lot to talk about when I get to that paralog. Oh my lord. Assuming I don't warp skip it. <laughs> Which <laughs> would be accurate to Thracia. <laughs> oh, you missed. You missed. You're stupid. Um, why is my nose? Ugh. <sighs> oh. Well, well, can't breathe. Now I can. <laughs> hubba hubba. Uh, long story short, the good music in this game is absolutely fantastic. And there really isn't that many. There really aren't bad tracks. There's probably one map theme that I can say that I actually don't like. And, and even that it's not bad, I just got sick of hearing it. Because it plays on some of the worst maps in the game. You know, if I was a stupid idiot, I'd put him in the range. Of Hortensia. But I'm not. I'm gonna put him in range of Rosado instead. Does Rosado have a great weapon? No. Do you? No. Do you have a blade? No. No. Okay. Wanted to make sure that he wasn't getting broken into the wall. Uh, actually, it looks like you want to do a sword there. Is there any? Why the hell not? He gets 15 move, because why the hell not? Do you- No, you don't get tier tree for a while. Never mind. 
want to keep you like that. This is definitely the weirdest I've ever played this chapter. Just saying. <laughs> um, ooh, yeah, Iron Great Axe. Uh, I don't really have... I don't have any good axe users right now. I will. I will have a great one. I'll have a phenomenal one, in fact, I'd argue. Um, and I would like to draw that sword user as well, yeah. Sweet. Boom. Uh, then two turns I want to kill Hortensia. Citrine will be able to get the kill on at least one of them. Celine may be able to get Celine may be able to get the other one. Uh, yeah, I don't think breaks happen with zero damage. Okay, I want to draw Hortensia. Not in her damn rank. Fudge. It isn't. I need somebody that won't get murked. I'm getting sleepy. Ah! I knew who wouldn't get murked. But you can't reach unless I raging storm. And I. It works. Does it? Mm. Not worth it. That's wrong. She can't reach. I actually want it to be Yanaka. Because Yanaka will hopefully die. Will also weaken Hortensia. She also has decent resistance because of Mikaya. And I'm trying to bring out Hortensia and all them. I may be able to get a, a sick, awesome override. That's the goal. Um. I just want you to get XP. That's all I want. He's almost caught up to the rest of them. I don't really have a good person to do the kill. Do I? I still should have had Chloe attack. I don't really have anyone good to do that kill. If I can't kill him, that means there's two more axe guys right there. Louie hopefully Serves can kill right. one of them. I'll at least create a line. Let's see. I'll find out if they can break. Pretty soon. With zero damage if they attack him. Get him over here! Get Busha wrong. Oh, sweet! She gets a kill too. That was a good session. Might as well just move you closer. Man, Chloe is just getting needed. Oh, come on. Okay, it's time. It's time. Let's full assault. Is this a good idea? Probably not. Am I going to anyways? Yes. I just need to not die. How bad can it be? No, you have nothing to kill. <laughs> This means the override is 
go to kill her. Okay. I'm going to ask you nicely. Please die. Uh, Gold Mary is the most annoying enemy on the snap just because of her yeah. personal skill. You're horrible. That's it. I'm leaving. Uh, now I just need to get Rosado yoinked out of here, and then I'll be good. Which is not that hard. So all I have to do... ...is a good Raging Storm. It's not luck, it's fate. And then hopefully I can just... Right off the bat, get Rosado. Ah, fudge sickles. Uh, never mind. Um, houses unite. Let's do it. You got an emblem ring. <laughs> Better cop it up. And I might be able to warp, warp Ragnarok kill. I know Hortensia, however, is broken. What? It's not I have a warp save. I have a warp save. Um, who do I want to get over there? Who would have a good shot at killing Hortensia? And how much movement does he have? Four. So warp from there. One, two, three, four. Nope. I'm at a hundred percent. One, two, three. Not enough. enough. That's less distance. Wait, no, it isn't. It's not a lot of damage. How much damage does it do? Is that enough? Hey, you don't kill Rosado. Only drop steel axe, not worth it. Oh, I lost. No fair. I lost. Well, you're not getting my ring. I won't let father down. Another Yahoo! Low way time. Okay, let's get all the post chapter story done. Ugh, this is so frustrating. Rosado, Gold Mary, all soldiers, retreat. They fled in a hurry. Hmm. There's a lot of damage to the bridge. It may take time to find a safe path forward. We didn't recover the emblem ring. We didn't lose any either. And most importantly, you're not hurt. Let's call that good enough. <sighs> you're right. It is plain now that Queen Lumera's stolen rings lie in Illusia's hands. In which case, we can deduce that they possess five. Five? Yes. 
Counting the rings taken from Lethos Castle, the rings of the Sage Lord, the Azure Twins, the Instructor, and of course, the Princess Exalt. Princess Hortensia was wielding the latter, as you'll recall. Besides those four, there was one entrusted to them by your forebears. Which one? If I may, I believe it's the Ring of the Lady of the Plains. The King favors it, or so I've heard. He keeps it in his personal chambers. His chambers? That's odd. Firne's ring has a hall in the castle all to itself. Where does your kingdom keep its ring? Like Firene, we store ours in a special gallery in the castle. Speaking of which, how soon might we be able to depart? I really am worried about the situation there. The soldiers should be back from patrol soon. Let's prepare to leave. Thank you. If anything has happened to my father or brother, I don't know what I'll do. Oh yeah, let's explore. <sighs> mm. Right. Cool. I always hit the wrong button. This one's the run. Not worth it. What the? The minimap is glitching, but only on the TV. What the hell? Um, how close to another level up is she? Okay, I'm gonna actually get her a level up first before I promote her. Um. Yeah. I'll quickly show that. I guess. I don't know. Maybe. I suppose. Take that! Almost done. these corrupted coming from that's the last of them the village is finally safe but it's still not good enough i have i have to be strong strong just like you were i still miss you so much and i think about what you said to me all those long years ago where are you brother Okay. Let's go to the Somni. I'll see what's new and what's up. Um, I'm trying to decide. I I think it's already worth it to do one donation level in Brodia, because there's just not a lot of chapters in Brodia. Even with the paralogs, there's really not a lot of them. Firne is the one country that has the most, like, of everything. So I think it's, like, the most important one to donate to. Uh, Solm, I think, is also really good to donate to. But, I mean, outside of those two, it's... One level's probably good enough. Um... What all is new? 
Ah! Those are actually new, new, because they were added in the update. Thank you. Ah. I really do not give a crap about anything involving the boutique. Be well. All I care about is that I'm dressed like Sigurd. Um, I have never done these before. I I've never done these before. I've, I've never done these before. Um. You don't have to go to all of them. You can like do all of them all at once. So we'll do Luhi and roast beef. We'll do I don't know Boucheron and Jean. Uh, Boucheron and I sure. Um, and then we'll do Naka and sure. And that'll do all of them? I actually don't know. So you have to do each one separate. To confirm at least. So no dialogue or anything. Nice and quick. Okay. Not terrible. Ah, it could be way worse. Um, and that just leaves supports and promoting Chloe. Sweet. 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 Just one time for her, just so she gets that level up. Because it's so close. I want to get it first. I will act as your opponent today. This is my chance to shine. Yeah, I think it's sort of flow I did with that. I'll win the next one. I always do my best. Now and in the matches to come. Whoa. See, Clo my Clo Chloe seems just busted if you put Tatelgar on. And I do want to do Griffin Knight. Uh, I, I, I thought about doing Wyvern, but it just doesn't seem worth it to me. And the stab utility could also be really helpful. We got two promotions this video. We're really on a roll. <laughs> oh, next video, I want to talk about the uh, Radiant Dawn New Heroes banner in Fe. And why, as a giant Radiant Dawn fan, I don't like that banner. Um, Radiant Dawn is... I've learned a great deal by observing you, Sigurd. I hope to I love it so much, night. and I'm Knights not happy with that banner. Of their people. Let us support each other to keep them safe. Yeah, brave less. Not really a secret weapon. It's more of a fin, or as I typically play genealogy, I typically end up giving it to Anderness and Fee. But, you know. Sure. Sure, Sigurd. You can use it. Jean, are you not getting enough greens at the cafe? Oh no, I'm actually picking medicinal herbs. 
See? Wow, you've got a ton picked already. This one acts as a painkiller, and this one is useful in several ointments. It used to grow all over my home island, but it's gotten harder to find lately, so I'm picking some here to send back to my father. For the clinic on your island, right? This is a lot for one person to harvest alone. Let me help you. No, 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 that's okay. You must have a lot of other important things to do, Divine One. Not so many that I can't lend a hand here. Besides, with the war and your studies, I bet you're so busy you barely have time to sleep. <laughs> I should have known the Divine One would see right through me. That's right. Nothing gets by me. If you really wouldn't mind, then yes, it would be a big help. Thank you. I must thank you, Jean. Princess Saline? What are you thanking me for? The tea produced in your hometown is far and away my favorite. There is joy in each and every sip, so I thought it appropriate to thank you. Ah, in that case, I should thank you, too. My mother will be over the moon to find out you like it so much. Your mother? She works at a tea shop back home. You've probably had tea brewed from leaves that my mother processed. I see. Do pass on my thanks, then. I will. Praise from your highness would be the pride of a lifetime for my mother. Would you like to join me for tea sometime? We can brew some tea leaves from your home and drink to your mother's health. Oh, I've done nothing to deserve such an invitation, but I'm grateful anyway. I'll be looking forward to it. As shall I. You'll be hearing from me. Wow, not a whole ton. Okay, interesting, interesting. One snake sandwich, as requested. Here you go. Thanks. I'm gonna try it right now. Huh? <gasps> what a sandwich! The fluffy bread lulls you in, and then crunch! The roasted snake hits you! It's a flavor cascade from the first bite! Twelve out of ten! Yay! I'm so glad you like it! What the... There's something slightly off about this. Huh? Are you sure this is a snake sandwich? Sure, I'm sure. Look, you can see the roast snake right there, yeah? No, it's close, but it's not snake. I think it's actually... Eel? Ah! I think you're right. I'm so sorry. I remember now. The snake sandwich stall was next to the eel stall. Oh, so you went to the wrong one? Aw, oh, Fram. This is just the kind of screw-up I keep making as steward of the dragon, too. I'm real sorry. Don't worry about it. Even if it's eel and not snake, my rating stands. Here, try for yourself. Okay, here goes. <gasps> what the heck? Has eel always been this good? That's what I'm saying. It's like I'm tasting it for the first time. The true appeal of eel. Oh, that reminds me. I heard about another new food stall opening up soon. If you don't mind, could I ask you to go buy me some more eel dishes? I'm on it. And this time, I'll definitely get your order right. Oh my. Okay, uh, that, that ending was really good. I like that ending. Anyways, um... That's all I have. Goodbye.